Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Okay, let's check out Javi Baez here. Takes a cutoff from the outfield, throws an absolute laser beam to home to get the out. I want to talk about the mechanics of a cutoff play. Some real specific things that you can do to make sure that you're putting your body in the best position possible to make an accurate and strong throw to home plate. So Baez does a great job here. Let's, let's fast forward or rewind here a second. Now the first thing, and we can't really see him do this because this shot starts right about here on the TV um, broadcast. But the first thing you want to do, if you look at this guy right here, see how he's facing this way? He's got both hands up in the air. And so that's what you originally want to do. So when the ball's hit to the outfield, you're going to make your way up. You're going to make sure that you're lined up with your target. So right here, it's home. You're going to make sure you're lined up in a straight line. And you're going to put both hands up just like this, okay? And essentially what you're doing is you're letting the outfielder know, I'm the relay man in this situation. We want to first move our feet. Right, so if the ball's thrown this way, I want to move my feet over here. If the ball's thrown this way, I want to move my feet over here. Okay, so once the ball is in the air and we've moved our feet, we want to do two things. The first thing is we want to catch the ball on the side. So we want to get our front shoulder pointed to our target once we catch the ball. So notice Baez doesn't catch this ball with his chest facing the outfielder. He catches it with his chest facing this way. So he's sideways. He's on the side of the ball. So that's really, really important. We want to be able to catch the ball and quickly transfer and throw with our shoulder on our target. If we catch the ball with our chest facing this way, well, now we've got to turn to throw. So that's the first thing. Catch the ball on the side with your lead shoulder on your target. The second thing that you'll notice is he's starting to move his feet as the ball is coming to him, right? So he does not catch this ball flat-footed. He starts to move his feet. The goal is when you catch the ball, right? So here, he catches the ball, your right foot should be landing, right? So it's catch, right foot comes down. Now I transfer, step and throw. So that's the key right there. Move your feet. It's a little bit of a shuffle. I'm going to catch, put my right foot down, stride towards my target, and throw. Now, a couple other things. I want to let this ball travel. So I'm trying to let the ball basically get to the midline of my body. I want to catch it right in the middle of my body. I don't want to reach out here. And I see some players reach way out here, but now I catch it way out here and I've got to bring it back to my midline. So let the ball travel to my midline. Any position you play, when you transfer the ball, it's going to be in the middle of your body. Okay, so let the ball travel. I'm going to catch the ball, and I'm going to transfer again in the middle of my body. So I catch it. I transfer in the middle of my body. And now I go through my normal throwing mechanics. And if you're lucky and you have an absolute rocket for an arm like Javi, you'll throw it right on the money, about 90-plus miles an hour. So let's watch it again. Let's back up here for a second. So again, here comes the ball. He's going to move his feet. He's going to catch the ball on the side with his lead shoulder facing the target. He's going to get momentum going to the plate so that his right foot lands just as he's catching the ball or just after he's catching the ball. He's going to stride, let the ball get to the middle of his body, transfer in the middle, and throw. And he's out. So that's how it's done. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.